Hello again, this is Jamak and this is Sohail. We're at ITD Canada. Last time, if you watched our video, we talked about resumes and you, how to put your resume together. Today, we thought it would be good to talk about um, interviews, interview skills. So let's say you wrote your resume, you did a great job, the cover letter, which we haven't talked about yet, but you sent it, you sent it in and you got that phone call or, or that email that says, look, you've got an interview. So you have two days to come in and do an interview. There's a lot of things. When we were prepping with this, uh, for this video, we thought about there's like 10, 15 things that, that you can talk about, right? But the most important thing, the thing that comes very, at the very beginning is your homework. You got to do some homework, right? Exactly. Where do you start? So, well, I would say that you have to do some pre-interview tasks. Well, it, it, is, it is given. You have to do some pre-interview tasks then you have to do well in your interview, and then you have to do some post-interview tasks. And every single one of them can be a video of, uh, on its own. It could be a course on its own. It could be a course on its own, yeah. So maybe we just want to start with what we think you should do before you're actually getting to the interview. So if, I, if I've gotten the interview, right, if, it's, if I've got two days and I've got this company just calls me and says, hey, you, we saw your resume, we want you to come in. The first thing I do is I jump on the company's website. Get on the company's website, find out everything I can about them, right? What's their product, what's their target customer, who their founders are, what, who their team is, and then uh, I have a resource. Been, how, how long have they been in business, right? Now I have a resource in my hand that I can go check out and see who these people are. Maybe the person who's interviewing me. Like, what's that resource? Um, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, yeah, true, true. There is LinkedIn, there is Facebook page, there is like social media. Like nowadays we have, we have our face everywhere. This is the face of our businesses. Like all business people, the people that they own the business, they just want to be out there. So you know who's actually working there just by a little search about the company on LinkedIn, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, there is picture of people that you're gonna see, there is face of them everywhere. So what I do in particular though is when I go on their about page or it says about us, it says our team, right? Mm -hmm. I find out who the CEO is, who the CFO is, who the CTO is, who their HR person is. Maybe I know who's gonna interview me, right? I go look them up on LinkedIn and I read all I can about. Right? Because that I, now that I know way who's... you feel close to them. Like, well, it's not like this person who's actually inviting you for an interview, he has no idea who you are. You get the advantage because you can get some information about him. That is actually not true. Like, before even I give a call to someone to just invite him for an interview, I do my own research about them as well. Exactly. I just go on their LinkedIn page, I go on their Facebook page, I go on their YouTube channel if they have it. Which, by the way, is a topic for another video. How to, exactly. how to make sure you know you lose that job because of your social media. Exactly. You don't even get a chance to get that. But this person does only knows limited amount of information about you, and you are supposed to have some information about him as well. This is like the pre-connection before even you see each other. You need to get some information. It's like about dating, this right? You kind of want to know about about this other person. Exactly. Well, exactly. Bit, right. Exactly. What are they interested in? What topics you can talk about? Because when you go into that interview, and hopefully we'll we'll do we'll do another one that talk about what to do when you're in that interview. You you want to have that ammunition. You, you want to know what to talk about, right? You you want to because. I, I find that and this is this is interesting, right? I find that a lot of people, whether they're writing their resume or their cover letter, or when they're in the interview, they're constantly talking about I'm this, I'm that. I'm uh, this, uh, I'm see, that, this is right? the thing that I wanted to pay some attention to. It as an employer, when I call you for an interview, quite frankly, I don't really care who you are. I'm interested in your skills and what can make my company grow and. How can you be beneficial to my organization? You can keep talking about yourself and like all your credentials and everything. It doesn't mean anything as long as it doesn't help me grow my business. There's a reason that I'm going to hire you and that reason is I want to grow my business and you are a beneficial, you're, you're, you're bringing benefit for my, for my company. So if you just keep talking about yourself, I'm not interested. I want to know what skills do you have that makes you a suitable candidate for my organization so I can 
grow, prevail, and create a prosperous business for myself. Right. And, and that, that leads to that next point of the homework. So one, once I have a list of things that this company does, their reputation, their products, their customers, what their goals are, where they've been, where they're going to, because we can find most of that information online. Now I look at my assets, the stuff I told them I know in my cover letter and resume, and I sit down and I think about how I can use my assets to help them get closer to their goal. There you go, bingo. That's the, that's the answer to the question that I want. So usually they say in the interview, I always ask this question, and a lot of people ask this question, tell me about yourself. It's a trick question. I'm interested in your skills that can actually uh, give me some, uh, uh, some benefit. I am not interested in you as a person or your credentials or, you know, like I, I, I might be interested in what you have accomplished so far, so that could be relevant to my business, but in general, what I'm interested in is that how can you be positive for my business? So when you're answering these questions, make sure that I'm not interested in what you are and how tall you are or whatever. Uh, I'm interested in what your skills are. So talk to me about how your skills can benefit my organization. When you're in an interview, you want to convince that person you have one chance, it's probably one shot to get them interested in you, yeah. and you don't want to lose that. So you have to tell me a synopsis of all your skills that could be an asset to my company. And that's what I'm looking for. Can we talk about one last piece of homework before we let them go? Sure. You want to decide how you want to dress going into this interview. True. Okay. A suit and a tie is not always the right answer. It might be, but it might not. Let me give you an example. If you wear a suit and tie and go into an interview where the CEO of the company comes to meet you and he's in his jeans, jeans and, and t-shirt, t -shirt, you're overdressed. You're probably overdressed. Now, some CEO might look at you and say, this is good because he values this interview and he's showed up dressed up and then he can dress down when he comes to work. That's true, but that's not always the case. You want to meet them where they're at. You want to dress appropriately for that occasion. So again, it, 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 I cannot emphasize this enough. You have to make sure you do your homework, you do your due diligence, understand what the company is about, who the owners are, who you're going to be interviewed the environment you're going to be working at. Like on the same token, if you're going to a bank or some yeah. sort of, you know, financial organizations, do not go with jeans and t-shirts. You have to be definitely dressed in suit and tie because that's the way that those organizations are. Uh, but in general, what I think what, John, what you want to say is that do your due diligence homework and see what environment you're going to work in. It starts from your dressing up all the way to what can I do to, to help this organization but it is your homework and the person feels more comfortable when he knows that you know about them. It's not like when you say, okay, well, did you hear about us? And you're like, no, this is the first time and I didn't check your website. I guarantee you're not going to get that job. That's right. So next time you get a call from that employer, you know what you're supposed to do. Until next time. Thank you.